uh, I Shruti Panchal from Paris Institute of Physiotherapy. Welcome, uh, Dr. Hardini Pari, uh, our guest speaker. Uh, Ma'am, welcome. I welcome you to join this webinar. Uh, uh, first, our principal ma'am is also like to welcome you. Uh, Bhavna ma'am, please. Bhavna ma'am. Okay. So, uh, welcome everyone on the PU webinar page and uh, webinar on outcome measures in pulmonary rehabilitation by Dr. Hardini Pari. And I uh, am really pleased and pleasure to have you, Dr. Hardini, here on um, a webinar series by Faculty of Physiotherapy, Parole University. And thank you so much for accepting our invitation. It is always a pleasure and proud moment for me to welcome you and to be there with you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Thank you so much, dear Bhavna ma'am, dear Shruti. Thank you so much for this wonderful platform. And thank you so much for providing this opportunity to present this wonderful topic, which is like always been my favorite. That is outcome measures in pulmonary rehabilitation. Being a cardiopulmonary MPT, I know nowadays pulmonary rehabilitation is the you know talk of the town due to COVID. And I would like to, uh, you know, make it very simpler for all the students over here. So good morning, dear students, dear UG students, dear, uh, uh, dear PG students. So if you all allow me, I can start with my presentation. Uh, before you start, and let me introduce you properly. Yes. So our audience can know about you. Yes. Uh, so dear all, Today we have Dr. Hardini uh, Parikh with us uh, for the uh, PU webinar series uh, organized by Parents of Physiotherapy, uh, Faculty of Physiotherapy. Uh, Ma'am has done uh, ma uh, masters in cardiopulmonary and she is working as a senior lecturer in uh, Ahmedabad Institute of Physiotherapy, Eames College in Ahmedabad since last 12 years. She is a recognized PG as well as PhD guide in Gujarat University. So it's uh, our privilege to have you, ma'am, in this webinar series. Uh, she has also published many research papers in uh, different journals. Uh, and she has uh, delivers lecture in various conferences also. And her main area of interest is cardiopulmonary and uh, rehabilitation and fitness. And today, also, ma'am is going to uh, elaborate uh, and uh, share her knowledge on the topic of outcome measures in pulmonary rehabilitation. So it's uh, very important uh, for our students to hear you, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, now uh, please you start with your presentation. Sure, Shruti. Thank you so much for your kind words. Everyone. It's my uh, pleasure <laughs> always, ma'am. Yes, yes. Fine. So dear UG and PG students, uh, today we are going to talk about an important topic that is outcome measures in pulmonary rehabilitation. See, being UG students, everyone knows what is pulmonary rehabilitation, right? Um, during our syllabus only, we are learning about cardiopulmonary system in first year anatomy physiology. Then in second year, we are learning about, you know, different types of breathing exercises, postural drainage, in third year, our syllabus includes all over assessment of patients suffering from cardiopulmonary conditions. And in final year, everyone knows what is our role in patients suffering from different cardiopulmonary problems, different cardiopulmonary disorders. Fine. So I'm starting with today's topic. And I would definitely like to explain in mixed languages, that is Gujarati and English, because there are so many UG students also present in this uh, webinar. So it will be easy for me to make them understand what is the idea behind taking this particular webinar, right? 
तो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग मैडम कैन यू यूज हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश मिक्स यस यस श्योर मैम श्योर हिंदी भी हम यूज करेंगे सो आई नो देर आर सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हु मस्ट बी नोइंग हैविंग प्रॉब्लम इन अंडरस्टैंड गुजराती टू सो आई वॉन्ट एन आंसर फ्रॉम यू जी स्टूडेंट्स PG students so definitely must be knowing what is the use of outcome measure and why we are learning outcome measure but kya koi ug students mujhe bata sakta hai ki outcome measure actually hota kya hai forget about pulmonary rehabilitation just let's focus what is outcome measure koi bhi ug student मैम स्टूडेंट्स हैव जॉइन ओनली फ्रॉम वन सिंगल प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो दे वांट बी आंसर यस मैम ओके फाइन सो व्हेन वी डिस्कस अबाउट एन आउटकम मेजर सी बेसिकली एज अ फिजियोथेरापिस्ट व्हेन वी ट्रीट पेशेंट्स विद एनी कंडीशन इट कुड बी यू नो एनी ऑर्थोपेडिक कंडीशन और इट कुड बी एनी न्यूरोलॉजिकल कंडीशन और इवन इन कार्डियोपलमोनरी कंडीशन whenever we treat any patient so whether uh, we are going in a right direction or not we use outcome measure let me give you an example suppose you have a patient suffering from osteoarthritis of knee joint okay because all students must have treated a patient suffering from osteoarthritis of knee joint pakka hai na kabhi na kabhi opd mein aap logo ne oa knees ke patient to dekhe hi honge right and you are supposed to assess the patient and ultimately uh, at the end of the assessment you will be having you know the list of impairment the list of problems ki patient ko pain hai patient has limited range of motion okay and patient have reduced strength pre, uh, patient has reduced activity okay and according to the problem list we usually make a treatment plan theek hai and what we do after treating a patient for few days say about 15 to 20 days what we do we reassess the patient okay and while we reassess the patient what we look ki kya there is any improvement in range of motion whether our treatment has increased the strength of the patient whether there is any improvement in functional capabilities of a patient theek hai to wo hum sab check karte hain okay ki bhai humne jo bhi treatment diya patient ko so before and after the intervention whether any improvement in patient condition or not okay so that progression of the patient with the help of physiotherapy treatment right for that this outcome measure will guide us for example patient is complaining of pain so what we do how we assess pain usually we take vas visual analog scale okay ya fir we take uh, numeratical scale ठीक है एंड देन वी असेस पेन कि ओके पेशेंट हैज 50 परसेंट पेन बिफोर द ट्रीटमेंट ओके तो दिस वास स्केल और दिस न्यूमेरेटिकल स्केल व्हाट इज दैट दैट इज एन आउटकम मेजर कि पेशेंट का 50 परसेंट पेन है अभी एट प्रेजेंट एंड आफ्टर गिवन फिजियोथेरापी फॉर 10 टू 15 डेज वी अगेन री असेस देशेंट एंड आफ्टर फिफ्टीन डेज वी अगेन चेक फॉर द पेन एंड इफ पेशेंट सेज दैट माई पेन इज सेम और इफ पेशेंट सेज माई पेन इज you know improved now i have 75% relief okay so that vas scale je tum use karo cho patient na assessment ma that vas scale itself is an important outcome measure jena upar thi you are planning your treatment protocol fine and it will guide you for further treatment if patient says there is no pain relief to you will have an idea that you have to change your treatment protocol okay so i hope everyone now understood what is outcome measure and specially for pg students all mpt students or even the students who are pursuing their phd or the phd students whoever is present in this webinar they must be knowing the important of outcome measure because they usually do their research on basis of outcome measure only okay whenever they plan their research they plan their dissertation they have to make a hypothesis and for that hypothesis to be proved right or wrong they have to select a proper outcome measure okay so here 
we are going to talk about the important outcome measures which are used in patients with pulmonary conditions okay and throughout the webinar i will be taking an example of patient suffering from copd chronic obstructive pulmonary disease because this would be condition je kadach badhane ch khabar hase all ug students all pg students must have heard about copd ke what is copd and what could be the problem list of the patient fine तो सेम वे दरक स्टूडेंटे क्या ने क्या तो सीओपीडी नु पेशेंट जो हसे सीओपीडी नहीं जो हो तो दे मस्ट हैव ट्रीटेड कोविड पेशेंट्स ओके एंड इन कोविड पेशेंट आल्सो यू मस्ट हैव टेकन वेरियस आउटकम मेजर्स टू सी द इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ योर ट्रीटमेंट फाइन सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एन आउटकम मेजर फाइन सो व्हेन इट कम्स टू फिजियोथेरापी फील्ड अ फिजियोथेरापी आउटकम मेजर is a test or scale administered and interpreted by physiotherapist that has been shown to measure accurately a particular attribute of interest to patients and therapist and is expected to be influenced by intervention this is the definition given in 1994 by mayo fine now let me elaborate this definition with an example so that everyone will come to know what exactly is today's webinar is all about so outcome measure is a test or scale okay mai tumne kidu to evi rite let's take an example of copd patient you are going to a copd patient so most of all the pulmonary patients have a chief complaint of breathlessness or you can say dyspnea fine whatever patient you have seen in wards or in opd जो भी पेशेंट आता है सीओपीडी के साथ या फिर कोई भी पल्मोनरी कंडीशन के साथ पेशेंट का एक कंप्लेन जो कॉमन होता है दैट इज डिस्निया फाइन तो यूजुअली टू असेस डिस्निया सो मेनी पेशेंट लाइक एज अ स्टूडेंट वी आर यूजिंग डिफरेंट स्केल फॉर एग्जांपल द मोस्ट कॉमनली एंड मोस्ट फेवरेट स्केल बाय द स्टूडेंट इज एन ग्रेड न्यूयॉर्क हार्ट एसोसिएशन स्केल फॉर डिस्निया ओके बदाए सांभियो हे एनवाएच ए पर पेशेंट जय हिस्ट्री लीए और वेल बी आस्क अबाउट दी सब्जेक्टिव असेसमेंट ऑफ दी पेशेंट अपने पेशेंट की कम्प्लेन जो है कि पेशेंट हेज डिस्निया एंड देन फॉर डिस्निया वी आर यूजिंग अ इम्पोर्टंट स्केल देट इज एनवाएच ए स्केल राइट तो देट एनवाएच ए स्केल इज एन आउटकम मेजर विच इज इंटरप्रिटेड बाय फिजियोथेरापिस्ट एना आपने खबर पड़े कि पेशेंट ने क्या ग्रेड नो डिस्पनिया है वेधर पेशेंट हेज ग्रेड वन डिस्पनिया ग्रेड टू डिस्पनिया थ्री और फोर फाइन सो बाय टेकिंग एनवाएच ए ग्रेड एनवाएच ए बीइंग एन इम्पोर्टंट आउटकम मेजर आपने खबर पड़े कि वॉट इज पेशेंट्स प्रेजेंट कंडीशन सपोज पेशेंट इज हेविंग एनवाएच ए ग्रेड थ्री फाइन तो इट इज इंटरप्रिटेटेड बाय फिजियोथेरापिस्ट that has been shown to measure accurately a particular attribute so here particular attribute of interest kayo che dyspnea breathlessness so here we are assessing or we are giving focus or our interest would be in dyspnea only and nyha is measuring dyspnea only fine so nyha is an is an outcome measure which measures the level of dyspnea like in example of copd we are saying that patient might have an nyha grade of 3 fine so it is a particular attribute of interest to patients and therapist and is expected to be influenced by interpretation tumhe ward ma gaya you have seen the patient you have assessed the patient and patient is dyspneic and having nyha grade 3 so what will you do first of all definitely you will go for either positioning or breathing exercise or you will be giving nebulizer to that patient you will give any intervention of your choice or as per patient condition and a intervention apya pachi okay you will come to know whether patient has any relief or not in their condition okay so pehla patient no nyha grade 3 hato tumhe patient ne breathing exercise aapo chho you are giving positioning to the patient you are giving nebulizer to the patient fine and then after at the end of treatment session of half an hour you will again assess the patient fine and now at the end of your treatment tumhe fari thi nyha grade le so and that nyha grade might have reduced to 3 to 1 or even 2a par pahunchi sake ya 1 par hoy sake fine so nyha is an outcome measure 
to assess dyspnea and that scale will guide us as a physiotherapist ke apne je treatment apie chhe ena thi actually patient is recovering or not fine so that is the idea behind using or discussing an outcome measure and it is very much important ke tame kaya patient mate even for which complain which patient you are using what outcome measure it is really very important that we'll discuss later on in upcoming slides fine but i hope everyone now understood what is the outcome measure and why it is important in patients with pulmonary problems fine so that is the definition of outcome measure and i hope everyone is now understood ki what is outcome measure in physiotherapy field and what is the important of using correct outcome measure okay so in order to determine treatment efficacy it is important that an appropriate outcome measure is selected which is sensitive and able to detect a true change as a result of physiotherapist intervention eno matlab ke if your tamaro goal patient no dyspnea ocho karvano che aapko patient ka dyspnea relieve karna hai to you have to use an outcome measure jo dyspnea hi measure karta hai okay agar you are giving nebulizer and breathing exercise to reduce dyspnea to dyspnea ko measure karne ke liye hum chest expansion nahi measure kar sakte chest expansion is something which is used to see the you know movement of lungs and thoracic cavity theek hai to matlab you have to select an outcome measure which is actually related to that particular problem to patient ko agar dyspnea hai so you have to select an outcome measure which measures truly sensitively dyspnea only like an example i told you nyha grade or nyha scale it is an uh, outcome measure which actually measures dyspnea only fine and it will give you a true change as a result of physiotherapist intervention fine it is useful to consider outcome measures within the domain of icf framework that is international classification of functioning framework okay see everyone must be knowing about icf framework fine icf framework mein what we assess we assess impairment of the patient we assess activity limitations or what are the activities which are restricted for patient and what are the participation restricted of the patient fine so again let me explain you with a proper example of copd patient suppose you have a copd patient so again at the end of assessment you all must be assessing patient in icf framework only okay so first what we do we see the impairment of the patient we see the activity limitation we see the participation restriction so in impairment again we have two structural and functional impairment like in copd patient if we want to list out the impairment okay so what could be the structural impairment so copd patient ma most commonly structural problem kaya kaya hoy shake to patient might have consolidation patient might have collapse fine patient might have hyperinflation of lung so all these changes are listed below structural impairment barabar che tame patient no assessment karyu tame auscultation karyu patient na investigation joya and at the end of assessment now according to icf framework you have to make a problem list of the patient and a problem list ma pan you have to follow this framework because aaj framework na aadhar e according to this framework you have to select an outcome measure For example, COPD मा आपने जो impairment जो ये तो structural और functional structural मा impairment क्या क्या होइ शके as I told you the patient might have consolidation, patient might have collapse of the lung, patient might have hyperinflation of lung. So these all are structural impairment. And if we talk about functional impairment, के तो functional impairment मा most common functional impairment patient ना क्या क्या चे dyspnea, you know, cough and sputum. patient may have reduced respiratory muscle strength patient may have generalized weakness fever fatigue you know so this all will be coming under the heading of functional impairment fine activity limit limitations 
So if you, you see the patient suffering from COPD and pay, you will ask for activity limitation. Okay, what activities are limited? Are you able to, you know, get up and walk? Are you able to get up and go to your toilet activities by yourself? Are you able to, you know, clothing and clothing by yourself? Tame tamari baddhij activities of daily living tamari jhatte karisho karisha ko cho ke nathi karishakta. That is activity limitation. And same way the last comes participation restriction. Usually when patient is in hospital, we usually don't look for participation restriction because patient is in hospital. He is not going to participate in any of the activities. So patient jare tamari paase OPD basis upar aave chhe. Right? In OPD department, or if you are seeing a patient at his home, you have to check for participation restriction only. Also, for example, COPD no patient che, to patient jo uh, adult che, athwa to young che, to whether patient is going to college or school or not, whether patient is going to their job or not, whether patient is able to going to attend the social functions or not. Patient participate kari shake che socially or not. That again becomes an important aspect of pulmonary rehabilitation. So whenever we are assessing a patient for pulmonary rehabilitation, after assessment, we have to make a problem list of the patient under this ICF framework. Okay. Patient na impairment, activity limitation, participation restrictions. Abaddu japre assess karvanu hai chen. And we have different outcome measures for impairment. We have different outcome measures for activity limitation. We have various outcome measures for participation restrictions also. Okay. So that is why. Darek vastu mate na outcome measure alag alag che. Itla mate it is very much important to understand this ICF framework. Okay. So I hope now I am clear that what is out this ICF framework, what is impairment, what is activity limitation and what is participation restriction for a patient suffering from pulmonary condition. Okay. Again, coming back to an outcome measure, as I told you, Kiddarik ICF framework na domain mate, we have different, different outcome measure. For impairment, we have different outcome measure. For activity limitation, we have different outcome measure. For participation restriction, we have different outcome measure. So to decide an outcome measure, the outcome measure has to have the following determinants. Then and then that outcome measure would be, you know, uh, getting the proper result. Okay. After physiotherapy treatment. So the outcome maze, uh, measure which you are selecting, which we are selecting for a patient must have purpose of measurement. It must have measurement properties. It must have clinical utility. It must have sensitivity or clinical applicability or it must have patient or environmental consideration. Let us go in detail about all of this. So when you select an outcome measure, so first you have to decide Okay, what is our purpose? The outcome measure which we are selecting, for example, patient is suffering from COPD and patient is having complaint of dyspnea. So dyspnea mate apne outcome measure rakhyo chhe NYHS scale. Okay, so have apne NYHS scale is kem rakhyo. What is the purpose? Okay, so purpose mate par sauthi pella apne impairment jo chhe, activity limitation jo chhe, ke participation restriction jo chhe. Fine. So NYHS scale usually assess the impairment, functional impairment of the patient that is dyspnea. NYHS grade cannot measure activity limitation, cannot measure participation restriction. I hope everyone is getting this. Sabse pehle humko ye dekhna hai ke humko patient ka impairment assess karna hai, patient ka activity limitation assess karna hai ya patient ka participation restriction assess karna hai. And tino ke liye hamare paas different different outcome measure hai. Jaise, if patient is having complaint of dyspnea, dyspnea comes under the domain of impairment. So dyspnea ke liye, we have one of the important outcome measure that is NYHS. Same way, COPD patient ka activity limitation check karne ke liye, we are using different outcome measure. And most commonly, we are using six minute walk test. Fine, that is for activity limitation. 
एंड सेम वे फॉर द सेम पेशेंट वही पेशेंट का हमको अगर पार्टिसिपेशन रिस्ट्रिक्शन चेक करना है कि वेदर पेशेंट इज पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन डिफरेंट यू नो डोमेन ऑफ देयर लाइफ we have to use a different outcome measure we have so many outcome measures to check participation restriction one of the commonly used is hr uh, health related quality of life questionnaire theek hai that will measure the participation restriction of the patient so we have to first understand ki what is our purpose purpose kya hai patient ko assess karne ka aur what is our treatment plan पेशेंट का इम्पेयरमेंट ठीक करना है हमको पेशेंट का एक्टिविटी लिमिटेशन इंप्रूव करना है हमको और पेशेंट का पार्टिसिपेशन भी हमको इंप्रूव करना है और तीनों डोमेन के लिए तीनों के ही लिए वी हैव डिफरेंट आउटकम मेजर्स ठीक है सो आई होप एवरीवन अंडरस्टूड कि व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर आउटकम मेजर नेक्स्ट इज वॉट आर द मेजरमेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दैट दैट आउटकम मेजर ओके तो जो भी आउटकम मेजर हम ले रहे हैं फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर पेशेंट फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम वेदर इट हैज रिलायबिलिटी वेदर इट हैज वैलिडिटी वेदर इट हैज रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस और नॉट ओके जैसे आई टोल्ड यू कि वी कॉमनली यूज सिक्स मिनिट वॉक टेस्ट फॉर मेजरिंग द एक्टिविटी लिमिटेशन ऑफ पेशेंट पेशेंट की एक्टिविटी मेजर करने के लिए हम लोग सिक्स मिनट वॉक टेस्ट यूज करते हैं ठीक है तो सिक्स मिनट वॉक टेस्ट क्या रिलायबल है रिलायबिलिटी मतलब पीजी स्टूडेंट तो मस्ट बी नोइंग व्हाट इज रिलायबिलिटी एंड व्हाट इज वैलिडिटी बट फॉर यूजी स्टूडेंट लेट मी मेक इट सिंपलर कि तमे जेपन स्केल यूज करो छो जेपन टेस्ट यूज करो छो पेशेंट मे तो ये रिलायबल है कि नहीं रिलायबल मतलब जो प्रॉब्लम ते ए स्केल यूज करो छो सू ए टेस्ट एक्यूरेटली एज वस्तु मेजर करे छे के नहीं सिक्स मिनिट वॉक टेस्ट करता पर जो हूं तुमने सिंपल एग्जांपल आपू तो दैट वुड बी पीएफटी पल्मोनरी फंक्शन टेस्ट बदा ने खबर हे कि वॉट इज पीएफटी फाइन तो पीएफटी मशीन जो आप यूज करे टू चेक दी पेशेंट वाइटल कैपेसिटी ऑर वॉल्यूम्स एंड लंग फंक्शनिंग वेदर दैट पीएफटी स्पाइरोमेट्री इज रिलायबल और नॉट मतलब कि ए स्पाइरोमेट्री थी आपने लंग वॉल्यूम्स और कैपेसिटीज एक्यूरेटली मे कि नहीं फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ टाइडल वॉल्यूम अपने स्पाइरोमेट्री थी जो मेजर कर सकता होट मीन्स दैट पीएफटी और दैट स्पाइरोमेट्री इज रिलायबल टेस्ट टू मेजर दी लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड कैपेसिटी ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर पेशेंट सो रिलायबिलिटी इज एक्चुअली इन सीम्पलर लैंग्वेज द यू नो ए पर्टिक्युलर स्केल टेस्ट अथवा तो इंस्ट्रूमेंट के एक्यूरेटली पेशेंट नमपेरमेंट के एक्टिविटी मेजर कर सके एने रिलायबिलिटी कहवाय फाइन सेकेंड इज वेलिडिटी न वॉट इज वेलिडिटी ऑफ द स्केल वेलिडिटी मतलब जे मेजर करने मेजर करे खरु फॉर एक्जाम्पल आपने पेशेंट ना टाइडल वॉल्यूम जो है तो ये मशीन टाइडल वॉल्यूम ज मेजर करतु हो तो वेलिडिटी ऑफ एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ और और ऑफ अ स्केल इज द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द स्केल और दैट इंस्ट्रूमेंट टू मेजर व्हाट इट एक्चुअली इंटेंडेड टू मेजर फाइन तो पीएफटी थी अपन ने डेफिनेटली पेशेंट नु टाइडल वॉल्यूम मर्स है जो अपन ने चेस्ट एक्सपेंशन नहीं मे कारण चेस्ट एक्सपेन्शन मे देर इज अ डिफरंट आउटकम मेजर फाइन सो वी हेव टू सी अपने जो आउटकम मेजर यूज करिए पेशेंट मे एनवाएच ए ग्रेड के सिक्स मिनिट वॉक टेस्ट अपने यूज करिए कि पलमोनरी फंक्शन टेस्ट यूज करिए तो ए वस्तु ए स्केल ए टेस्ट रिलायबल है कि नहीं वेदर इट इज वेलिड और नॉट एंड वेदर इट इज रिस्पोन्सिवनेस ए रिस्पोन्सिव है कि नहीं रिस्पोन्सिव मतलब सपोज ते पेशेंट स्पाइरोमेट्री करो छो पीएफटी पीएफटी इज रिलायबल एंड वेलिड वी नो दैट के इट इज द मोस्ट रिलायबल एंड मोस्ट वेलिड टूल to measure lung volumes and capacities fine so now tame physiotherapy treatment aapo cho athwa to patient ni medicine chalu che tame patient ne nebulizer aapo cho ane e badhi j vastu aapya pachi ema kai improvement aave che kai change aave che so even minor change pan jo ema aave to that instrument a spirometry thi tame minor responsiveness either improvement in condition 
or deterioration of condition anything if that machine or that scale is measuring properly then it is known as responsiveness of that particular tool okay i hope everyone understands ki what are the different properties of that measurement instrument outcome measure koi pan outcome measurement hoy koi pan okay impairment mate ke activity mate it has to have its reliability validity and it has to have responsiveness next is clinical utility okay clinical utility for example main to kai didu ke patient nu tamare pft levanu chhe your patient is coming to your opd department right you have given a patient ki bhai there is a patient with copd and this is your patient you have to give physiotherapy treatment to this patient and there has to be improvement in patient now patient aa gaya aapke clinic mein and as a student you are giving pulmonary rehabilitation to that patient आपने फर्स्ट डे पे पीएफटी लेना है एज एन आउटकम मेजर लेकिन थर्ड इयर बीपीटी स्टूडेंट्स तमने जो पेशेंट आप तो तमें इतना कॉन्फिडेंट छो कि तब पीएफटी लाई सकसो तो एने क्लिनिकल यूटिलिटी कहवा देर आर सो मेनी फेक्टर्स तो यूजली आप शू कर यूजी स्टूडेंट शू कर जो इजी आउटकम मेजर हसे ने ए सिलेक्ट कर सम के चेस्ट एक्सपांशन ब्रेथ होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी इंसेंटिव स्पायरोमीटर फाइन पेशेंट नु एनवाएच स्केल ले से पेशेंट नु 6 मिनिट वॉक ले से कारण के दोस टेस्ट वुड बी इजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके एंड सेम वे पीजी स्टूडेंट्स असे अथवा तो पीएचडी स्टूडेंट्स असे के जे लोको ने ए लोको ना डेजर्टेशन माटे ए लोको ना रिसर्च माटे ए पेशेंट नु आउटकम मेजर सिलेक्ट करवानु असे तो दे हैव टू चूज अ मोर रिलायबल मोर वैलिड आउटकम मेजर तो दे कैन नॉट चूज any other outcome major but they have to choose most reliable and valid such as pulmonary function test pft fine so there are so many factors or clinical uh, you know factors which affects the selection of outcome major such as resource uh, resources or equipment requirement barabar che pft karvu che tamare pan tamari paase pft machine nathi to su karso testing space and cost same way पीएफटी मशीन मुकवाई जगह जरूरी नहीं कि दरेके दरेक क्लिनिक में दरेके दरेक जगह पीएफटी मशीन अवेलेबल हो बिकॉज अगेन एक्सपर्टाइज एवरी वन सपोज यू हेव पीएफटी मशीन इन योर डिपार्टमेंट फाइन बट डू यू नो हाउ टू ऑपरेट हाउ टू परफॉर्म पीएफटी टेस्ट ऑन पेशेंट फाइन अगेन टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फाइन फॉर एक्जाम्पल एक सीम्पल एक्जाम्पल तमाम आपू कि तारी एक्जाम यूनिवर्सिटी एक्जाम यूनिवर्सिटी एक्जाम में तेरे आउटकम मेजर सिलेक्ट करवा अथवा तो पेशेंट ना तेरे इम्पेरमेंट एक्टिविटी लिमिटेशन ने बधु ते जुओ आउटकम मेजर डिसाइड करवा तो मैं खबर है कि तेरी एक्जाम में पीएफटी तो क्य यूज नहीं करो केम बिकॉज इट इज वेरी मच टाइम कंज्यूमिंग तेरे पेशेंट ने समझा पड़ से पीएफटी लेव पड़ से फाइन तो यूजली अपने एक्जाम में शू करे पीएफटी नहीं लेता बट तो आप शू लीए वी आर टेकिंग सिक्स मिनिट वॉक टेस्ट राइट वी आर टेक taking nyh grade we are taking chest expansion measurement fine so there are so many factors which affects in selection of outcome measure ke tamare kayu kayu outcome measure levu chhe to that is clinical utility fine before selecting an outcome measure next is sensitivity or clinical applicability मतलब अगेन लाइक एज आई टोल्ड यू इन रिस्पोन्सिवनेस अगेन सेंसिटिविटी वेदर योर इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज सेंसिटिव इनफ टू मेजर द माइनर चेंज ओके फॉर एक्साम्पल पेशेंट इज हेविंग सीवियर ब्रेथलेसनेस अथवा तो पेशेंट इज हेविंग सीवियर रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ चेस्ट एक्सपांशन चेस्ट एक्सपांशन थतु नहीं पेशेंट ते ए चेस्ट एक्सपांशन मेजर करने ते शू करो छो यू आर मेजरिंग मेजर टेप Measuring the chest expansion with the help of measure tap. Fine. Most accurate method of measuring chest expansion is with the help of one ear caliper. Ideal method of measuring in anthropometry. पर जो तमे बात सुने तो even in anthropometry it has been written that to measure chest expansion what you need is one ear caliper. Fine. So one ear caliper would be more sensitive. to measure any minor change in chest expansion je kada tumne chest expansion je tumhe measure tape thi measure karo chho 
એ કદાચ તમને ના મળી શકે સેમ વે પીએફટી બરાબર છે તો પીએફટી માં પણ પીએફટી ઇઝ મોર સેન્સિટિવ નાનામાં નાનું ઇમ્પ્રુવમેન્ટ પણ જો પેશન્ટમાં આવ્યું હશે ને તો પીએફટી માં તરત તમને ખબર પડી જશે ગોલ્ડ સ્ટાન્ડર્ડ આઉટકમ મેઝર વર્લ્ડ વાઇડ ઇટ ઇઝ યુઝ ઇંગ ઇટ ઇઝ યુઝ બિકોઝ ઇટ ઇઝ રિલાયબલ ઇટ ઇઝ વેલિડ ઇટ ઇઝ ક્વાઇટ રિસ્પોન્સિવ ઇટ હેઝ અ ગુડ સેન્સિટિવિટી લેવલ કે તો વોટ એવર સ્કેલ યુ આર યુઝિંગ ઇટ હેઝ ટુ બી સેન્સિટિવ એન્ડ લાસ્ટ એન્ડ એન્વાયરમેન્ટલ કન્સર્ન બહુ બધા એન્વાયરમેન્ટલ ફેક્ટર્સ છે વિચ વિલ અફેક્ટ ધ સિલેક્શન ઓફ એન આઉટકમ મેઝર ફોર એક્ઝામ્પલ તમારે પેશન્ટનું ડિસ્પિનિયા મેઝર કરવું છે તમારે એનવાય ગ્રેડ લેવો છે પેશન્ટનો પણ પેશન્ટ જ અનકોન્શિયસ અથવા તો પેશન્ટ સમજી નહીં શકતું હોય તો ફોર એક્ઝિયાટ્રિક પોપ્યુલેશન સપોઝ યુ હેવ અ બેબી ફાઇવ યર્સ ઓલ્ડ અસ્થમેટિક બેબી ફાઇવ યર્સ ઓલ્ડ પેશન્ટને તમે એનવાય છે ગ્રેડ કેવી રીતે સમજાવી શકશો સમજી શકો છો સો દેર આર સો મેની એન્વાયરમેન્ટલ એન્ડ પેશન્ટ ફેક્ટર્સ which you have to take into consideration ke whether that particular outcome measure can be applicable to that particular population or not okay so many factors like patient alertness uh, patient is in delirium medical acuity environmental setting fine so darik darik patient tharo ke icu ma hase patient unconscious hase patient ventilator upar hase to tumhara outcome measure badlai jase વેન્ટિલેટેડ પેશન્ટનું તમે પીએફટી કરી જ ના શકો ફાઇન સો પેશન્ટ આઈસીયુમાં હશે તો અલગ આઉટકમ મેઝર હશે પેશન્ટ વોર્ડમાં હશે તો અલગ આઉટકમ મેઝર તમે યુઝ કરવા પડશે પેશન્ટ ઓપીડી બેસિસ ઉપર આવતું હશે તો તમે અલગ આઉટકમ મેઝર યુઝ કરી શકશો સો ફોર ઇચ કન્ડિશન અકોર્ડિંગ ટુ ડોમેન ઓલ્સો અકોર્ડિંગ ટુ ધીસ પેશન્ટ કન્સિડરેશન એન્વાયરમેન્ટલ કન્સિડરેશન you have to select a particular outcome measure fine now onwards i will be giving you different example of an outcome measure which are selected according to the patient condition fine so let's talk about measurement of impairment apne humna j baat kari ke if we talk about impairment we have structural impairment or might have functional impairment fine so usually if we assess impairment impairment ma this six are the most common problems of the patient for example first is impaired airway clearance patient will complain of recreation second is low lung volumes and capacities patient will have dyspnea patient will have reduced respiratory muscle strength have reduced muscle mass excuse me please thank you patient will have reduced muscle mass and patient will have reduced peripheral muscle strength also so these all are the list of common impairments in patients with pulmonary condition and in dare ke dare impairment mate we have different outcome measures for example for impaired airway clearance suppose patient is having lots of secretions in the lung okay and a patient ne bahut badu coughing thai rahu chhe ફાઇન તો એના માટે આપણે કયા કયા આઉટકમ મેઝર યુઝ કરી શકીએ ફાઇન તો વી હેવ સ્કૂટમ એક્સપેક્ટોરેશન આપણે પેશન્ટને ઘણી વાર પૂછીએ છીએ ને કે તમને ખાંસી આવે છે તો ગળફો આવે છે તમને તો કેટલો આવે છે અમાઉન્ટ ઓફ દેટ સ્કૂટમ એક્સપેક્ટોરેશન ફાઇન કે ભાઈ તમને આ તમે કદાચ અસેસમેન્ટમાં ભણ્યા જ હશો કે વન ટેબલ સ્પૂન આવે છે તમને સ્કૂટમ કે પછી વન કપ ઓફ સ્કૂટમ થ્રુ આઉટ ધ ડે ફાઇન તો એ બધું આપણે કેમ પૂછીએ છીએ ફાઇન વી વી ઓસ્કલ ટેક ધી પેશન્ટ કે ભાઈ અંદર કોઈ સિક્રિશન્સ છે ડુ આર ડુ વી ગેટિંગ વીઝ ડુ વી ગેટિંગ રેલ્સ ઓર ક્રેપિટેશન ઇન સાઇડ ધ લંગ તો એના ઉપરથી આપણને ખબર પડે છે વી સી ધર ચેસ્ટ એક્સરે ફાઇન એક્સરે માં આપણને કોન્સોલિડેશન દેખાય છે કે નહીં સો ધીઝ ઓલ આર ધી આઉટકમ મેઝર અને આઉટકમ મેઝર જોઈએ છે આપણે સ્કૂટમ અસેસ કરીએ છીએ પેશન્ટનું ઓસ્કલ્ટેશન કરીએ છીએ વી સી ધ રેડિયોગ્રાફ ઓફ ધી પેશન્ટ we see the abg analysis we see the pulse oximeter we see the respiratory rate a baddu j apne assess kariye che patient nu ane assess karine pachi apne su kariye che we give physiotherapy treatment and after given physiotherapy treatment we again check all these outcome measure to see whether any improvement has occurred on auscultation 
ऑन एक्सरे ऑन एबीजी ऑन ऑक्सीमीटर के पेशेंट रेस्पिरेटरी रेट ओछी थी के नही बधुज आप चेक कर राइट सिक्रीशन हो पेशेंट ने तो तक बदा ने एवं आदत हे कि बिफोर गीवन नेबुलाइजर आप पहला तब ऑस्कल्टेट कर सो ऑस्कल्टेट कर सो यू विल कम टू नो देट दिस पेशेंट इज हेविंग लॉट्स ऑफ सिक्रीशन इन दिडल लो फाइन यू विल गीव पोस्टल ड्रेनेज यू विल गीव नेबुलाइजर यू विल गीव ब्रीदिंग एक्सरसाइजीज यू विल गीविंग हफिंग कफिंग ट्रीटमेंट बदीज ट्रीटमेंट पते एट दी एंड ऑफ हाफ एन अवर तब शू कर सो अगेन यू विल ऑस्कल्टेट दी पेशेंट फाइन एंड इफ देर इज नो क्रेपिटेशन आफ्टर गीवन द ट्रीटमेंट पेशेंट नु डिस्निया हे पेशेंट नु स्टम प्रोडक्शन हे फाइन अने पेशेंट विल बी हेविंग यू नो गुड रिकवरी ओके सो आउटकम मेजर विल गाइड यू कि ते जो ट्रीटमेंट आपो ए एक्चुअली प्रोपर है कि नहीं फाइन सेम वे टू मेजर लंग वॉल्यूम्स एंड लंग कैपेसिटीज वी हेव डिफरेंट आउटकम मेजर्स लाइक ऑस्कल्टेशन पल्स ऑक्सीमेट्री रेस्पिरेटरी रेट पलमोनरी फंक्शन टेस्ट चेस्ट एक्सरे एबीजी सेम वे डिस्पनिया वी हेव डिफरेंट आउटकम मेजर्स के लाइक एम एम आर सी डिस्पनिया स्केल एनवाएचए एटीए स्केल बोक स्केल के रेस्पिरेटरी मसल स्ट्रेंथ करने वी हेव मेनी इंस्ट्रुमेंट अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट सो देट वी केन मेजर दी रेस्पिरेटरी मसल स्ट्रेंथ सेम वे रिड्यूस्ड मसल मस जनरलाइज यूजली वी सी द मसल मस ऑफ क्वॉड्रिसेप्स मसल फाइन सो एना वी हेव बॉडी कम्पोजिशन एनालिस वी हेव एंथ्रोपोमेट्री वी हेव सोनोग्राफी टू रिड्यूस्ड मसल स्ट्रेंथ जो हो तो मसल स्ट्रेंथ चेक करने मोस्ट कॉमनली वी आर डूइंग एम एम टी ओके सो आ जितना इम्पेरमेंट है दरक इम्पेरमेंट मैं अलग अलग आउटकम मेजर्स फाइन सेम वे मेजरमेंट ऑफ एक्टिविटी लिमिटेशन फाइन एक्टिविटी लिमिटेशन हम एक्टिविटी लिमिटेशन आई टोल्ड यू देट वी कॉमनली यूज सिक्स मिनिट वॉक टेस्ट बट वॉट इफ पेशेंट इज इन आईसीयू पेशेंट आईसीयू में पेशेंट वेटीलेटर पर हो तो पेशेंट ना सिक्स मिनिट वॉक टेस्ट नहीं थी सके के तो फॉर पेशेंट्स हु आर ऑन इन आईसीयू पेशेंट इज ऑन मिकेनिकल वेटीलेटर इफ वी वोट टू मेजर द फंक्शनल कैपेसिटीज ऑफ द पेशेंट we have this scales you will be getting this scales online there are various platform jathi tumne aa badha scale madi jase you can write down the names of the scale if you want but these are the measures of physical and functional mobility in icu setting when patient is on bad ridden condition patient is on ventilator patient is on oxygen patient is not able to walk fine so these are the commonly used scales first is physical function in intensive care test score second is functional status score for intensive care units third is chelsea critical care physiotherapy assessment tool these three are most commonly used tool in icu when patient we cannot perform any walk test or any other functional assessment of a patient kanke patient to you know uh, toilet activities mate pan nahi jatu hoy patient ne to catheter apelu hase तो एवं पेशेंट ना सिक्स मिनिट वॉक टेस्ट टू मिनिट वॉक टेस्ट के शटल वॉक टेस्ट नहीं थी सके तो ए पेशेंट एक्टिविटी लिमिटेशन मेजर करने यू हेव टू यूज दिस आईसीयू स्केल्स अगेन वेन पेशेंट इज इन एक्यूट केर क्लिनिक पेशेंट अगेन इज ऑन ऑक्सीजन अथवा तो पेशेंट इफ यू वोट टू मेजर द मोबिलिटी एंड एडीएल एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द पेशेंट इन एक्यूट केर दीज आर दी डिफरेंट स्केल्स विच बी कॉमनली यूज not only in pulmonary rehabilitation but in all types of rehabilitation like neurological or orthopedic uh, rehabilitation care right most commonly you must have heard about fim and barthel index functional independence measure and barthel index aap sabko pata hoga kyunki hum commonly neuro patients mein bhi aur ortho patients mein bhi fim lete hain berg balance scale lete hain time up and go test bhi karte hain theek hai so these all are this the scale which are used commonly all over in every condition even in pulmonary rehabilitation neurological orthopedic rehabilitation we can use this scale in acute care mainly in ward or when patient comes to you with a acute condition in your opd department fine so the d morton mobility index time up and go test berg balance scale you can use fim you can use barthel index as an outcome measure most common field walk test 
right this we use commonly with patients having pulmonary problems or cardiopulmonary problems fine so commonly used field walk test everyone must have heard about all this common field walk test 2 minute walk test 6 minute walk test incremental shuttle walk test endurance shuttle walk test and 3 minute step test i am not going in detail of all this test because it will take another webinar on it fine so everyone knows that we commonly take 6 minute walk test to assess the functional ability of a patient in ward or on opd department if patient is hemodynamically stable we can perform all this walk test and if patient is having good condition patient is having no problems no complaints patient is improved okay then we have gold standard exercise testing cardio pulmonary pulmonary endurance test we know that these all test are gold standard test it gives you accurate measurement of functional capacity of the patient it measures even vo2 max of a patient fine you all must have heard about different uh, test okay for example there are test which are maximal or it can be sub maximal which are performed either on treadmill it can be performed either on cycle ergometer okay તમે બધાએ ક્યાં કોઈ ના કોઈ ટેસ્ટ તો સાંભળ્યા જ હશે જેમ કે વન માઇલ ટેસ્ટ ઓર રોક પોટ ટેસ્ટ યુ મસ્ટ હેવ હર્ડ અબાઉટ ધોઝ ટેસ્ટ વિચ આર પરફોર્મડ ઓન ટ્રેડમિલ સાયકલ અર્ગોમીટર ઓર આર આર્મ અર્ગોમીટર ફાઇન તો ધીઝ આર ધ ગોલ્ડ સ્ટાન્ડર્ડ ટેસ્ટ બટ ધીઝ આર ઓનલી પરફોર્મડ વેન પેશન્ટ ઇઝ મોસ્ટ સ્ટેબલ ફાઇન એન્ડ યુ કેન મેઝર વીઓ ટુ મેક્સ ઓફ ધ પેશન્ટ સો ધીસ ટેસ્ટ આર નોટ કોમનલી યુઝડ ઇન વોર્ડ or this test are not commonly used in icu so outcome measure mate tame jare pan a test use karo cho koi pan amano koi pan fine to dharo ke rock pot test tame use karva mango cho treadmill upar to e tame tyare j use kari shako cho jab patient is very much stable patient doesn't require any more oxygen fine tabhi ye test use karne hai to assess the functional capacity of the patient then physical activity if we everyone knows about physical activity fine ke physical activity is defined by who as any bodily movements produced by skeletal muscles that results in energy expenditure beyond resting energy expenditure that is adl occupational activities laser activities jo bhi hum karte hain pure din mein usko hum physical activity bolte hain theek hai to physical activity यूजअली मेजर करने के लिए है वी हैव दिस थ्री थिंग्स ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल डायरेक्ट कैलोरीमीट्री विच वी नेवर डू फॉर दिस डायरेक्ट कैलोरीमीट्री वी नीड यू नो वर्क फिजियोलॉजी लेबोरेटरीज तो हम डायरेक्ट कैलोरीमेट्री कभी नहीं करते हैं पेशेंट का बट हम क्या करते हैं एक्टिविटीज मेजर करने के लिए नाव डेज यू ऑल मस्ट बी कॉमनली यूजिंग दैट पेडोमीटर हाँ हाथ में पहनते हो ना वो फिटनेस बेल्ट जिसमें आप मेजर करते हो कि आप पूरे दिन में कितने स्टेप्स चले ठीक है जितने आप ज्यादा स्टेप चलोगे उतने आप ज्यादा फिजिकल एक्टिव हो तो आप पेशेंट को भी बोल सकते हो ठीक है सपोज अ पेशेंट इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम सीओपीडी एंड पेशेंट इज हार्डली वॉकिंग 1500 स्टेप्स अ डे दैट मीन्स पेशेंट की फिजिकल एक्टिविटी इज वेरी मच लेस तो आपको पेशेंट को बोलना है कि भाई आप ये फिटनेस बैंड पहनो आप पंद्रह स्टेप चलते हो कुछ भी करो लेकिन With the help of this pulmonary physiotherapy or pulmonary rehabilitation, एक week के बाद we have to improve your physical activity and we want to improve the your number of steps by थ्री थाउजेंड एट दी एंड ऑफ वन वीक ठीक है तो दैट वी यूजली यूज लाइक एसेलरोमीटर और पेडोमीटर्स वी हैव सब्जेक्टिव मेजर्स लाइक आई पैक आई पैक जी पैक दीज ऑल आर दी यू नो क्वेश्चन जो फिजिकल एक्टिविटी मेजर करने के लिए यूज होते हैं that you might come to know while you will do your masters program or your phd programs theek che but ug students ne etli khabar hovi joye ke physical activity measure karva mate commonly we are using uh, pedometer or other questionnaires which are commonly used okay and now coming to the measurement of participation restriction as i told you participation restriction we usually measure when patient is out of the hospital usually patient jare hospital ma hoy hospital ma apne kyare na puchhe ke tumhe job upar jao chho 
ફાઈન તમે સ્કૂલે જાઓ છો કોલેજ જાઓ છો તમે રોજ મંદિરે જઈ શકો છો તમે તમારા ફ્રેન્ડના ઘરે જાઓ છો નો બિકોઝ પેશન્ટ ઇઝ ઇન હોસ્પિટલ પેશન્ટ ઇઝ ઓલરેડી રિસ્ટ્રિક્ટેડ પેશન્ટ ઇઝ નોટ ગોઈંગ એની વેર તો વેન પેશન્ટ ઇઝ ઇન હોસ્પિટલ વી યુઝઅલી ડોન્ટ આસ્ક અબાઉટ પાર્ટિસિપેશન રિસ્ટ્રિક્શન બટ યસ વેન પેશન્ટ ઇઝ ઇન વોર્ડ અથવા તો વેન પેશન્ટ ઇઝ કમિંગ ટુ યુ ઇન ઓપીડી ડિપાર્ટમેન્ટ અથવા તો વેન યુ આર પેશન્ટ પેશન્ટ ઇઝ એટ હોમ એન્ડ યુ આર ગોઈંગ ફોર એન હોમ વિઝિટ you are treating a patient at home then you should check for participation restriction and there are various questionnaire for measurement of participation restriction like oh, health related quality of life most commonly used short form 36 mini asthma quality of life questionnaire chronic respiratory questionnaire st george respiratory questionnaire copd patient ma apne commonly use kariye chhe cystic fibrosis questionnaire revised so these are all are the questionnaires which are commonly used for patient in pulmonary rehabilitation with different pulmonary problems ane apne patient no participation restriction ketlu che e measure kariye che fine so aa jo questionnaire tame loko kada josho again these questionnaires are very much available in different books fine you can refer different books and even there are online platforms where you can get all this questionnaires whatever outcome measures i have included today in this webinar they all are reliable and most valid so you can use any of the outcome measure which has good reliability good validity and any of the outcome measure should focus on that particular domain as i told you impairment mate na outcome measure alag che activity limitation mate na outcome measure alag che and this participation restriction mate na par outcome measure alag che fine so these all are the questionnaire which are used to assess the participation restriction of the patient whether patient is able to participate in different types of you know activities or different types of social gatherings or not for that you can use this type of questionnaires fine so that was all about outcome measures in pulmonary rehabilitation is it okay i hope everyone understood i have tried make it very simpler by using different examples okay so if you have any queries or doubts you can definitely let me know fine right. shruti any doubts or questions from the audience side you can let me know if they have ma'am already i have conveyed that one message to audience that if they have questions they can put it in chat box uh, and here also there is no questions because majority of our audience is ug and they just like okay this can also be that in pulmonary we have we have to assess for this also yes yeah so we are just waiting for one two minutes more ma'am yes, yes definitely is already there in the chat box if they are yes. having questions ऑडियंस bahu bada students have must have treated covid patients and you must have come across different problems by the patient yes <laughs> i guess ma'am no one is having question <laughs> <laughs> ah i am a good teacher i am a good presenter no one is having actually, any question ma'am actually ma'am the way you presented it in all that uh, you have differentiate all the outcome measures in three major components which students can understand easily it was wonderful yeah yes shruti and uh, uh, really it is very important ha huh? students if you are treating tam zaruri nahi ki tumhe pulmonary rehabilitation hoy tyare j outcome measure select darek condition ma orthopedic neurological rehabilitation outcome measure is being a very important part of our assessment and management okay. and everyone has to understand and if possible shruti if they have any queries doubts personally if they want to ask me you can share my number to them you have my email sure. id also you can give sure. it to your students also they can yeah. ask any queries or anything later on also i would be 
you know pleased to answer this their queries sure ma'am it was really fantastic presentation uh, done by you ma'am uh, and the knowledge what you shared uh, on the outcome measures used in pulmonary rehab specifically was very informative not right. just for our student who is uh, who has attended this webinar our third year final year students or pg students but it is also equally important for the clinicians those who are working and yes. not just clinician but let us include researchers phd students and all those who are actually working into it and this will uh, going to help them at some point if yes. they are, Uh, so it's very important for them also, and it's very informative, and in a very simple language you have explained. So yeah. again, uh, thank you from my bottom of heart that you are sharing with uh, your knowledge, your uh, experiences with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Shruti. Once again, thank you, Parul University. Thank you so much, my dear Bhavna, ma'am. Thank you, audience. Yeah, thank you all your. you know staff also fine thank you thank you so much yes fine that's our um, pleasure always to have you ma'am thank you yes. sure fine so i think we can stop here i can yes. stop sharing yeah okay yes ma'am okay then Uh, i think we should stop here yes ma'am sure okay? okay then goodbye everyone bye ma'am thank you bye 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 everyone thank you thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you